hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET how to save the drop down list selected value into MySQL PHP my admin database and here we got the final output notice here the fruit names apple banana pineapple is binded into this drop down list control now I'm selecting the pineapple and here we got a message selected fruit pineapple saved successfully let's check in the database also I'm browsing the fruits table again browse and see here we got the results the fruit ID 1 and fruit name is pineapple if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before writing the coding part to save the selected drop down list values into PHP my admin database first let's create a new table in mysql php my admin the sample db database sql create table fruits fruit id which is the integer auto increment column primary key fruit name varchar 100 let's create the table go and here the table is created successfully let's browse the table fruits right now in this fruits table contains zero rows let's open visual studio we'll write the code to insert values from the drop down list control into this fruits table for this video tutorial i'm creating a new web application go to file new project from the web templates i'm choosing asp.net web application in the dotnet framework i'm using 4.6.1 the application name is save drop down list mysql click ok and from the templates i'm choosing empty click ok and here the project is successfully created let's open solution explorer now in this project i'm adding one web form page right click the project name add new item I'm selecting web form the web form name is insert drop down list add and here we have the source page of the insert ddl.aspx page now between this do tag I'm adding center tag h1 save selector item from drop down list into mysql php my admin database horizontal line after the horizontal line i am adding one drop down list control open toolbox I'm expanding the standard folder. Here is the drop down list control I'm adding on the source page. After adding the drop down list, switch to the design mode. Select the drop down list control. Now let's add some items into this drop down list control. Notice there is a small button which is a drop down list task. Click that one. Uh, edit items. add banana add pineapple just for the demo purpose I'm adding only three values click ok 
After adding the items into the drop down list control, the next step, notice here the enable auto post back property, check this one. Now double click the drop down list control. And here we have the drop down list selected changed event. Now before writing the coding part in this event, first we will add the namespaces using system.data using system.data.sql client and the last namespace we have to add the mysql library but in asp.net the mysql dll library is not available in our references project folder Notice in the references project folder there is no any MySQL DLL library. Let's add the MySQL library. Right click the references. Manage Nudget Packages. Click that one. The first option browse. Click that one. In the search MySQL. And from the search results the first option mysql.data click that library and install ok I accept and here the package is installed successfully into our project folder let's close this window switch to the code behind let's check mysql.data library is added into our references folder now you can add the mysql data library into code behind using mysql.data.mysql client after adding these three namespaces now the next step we need to add the mysql connection string in the web.config file open solution explorer i'm minimizing the references folder the web.config file the last one click that one now in the web.config file between the configuration i'm adding connection strings add name my connection string name is the my connection i'm giving the second property is the connection string data source is equals to localhost semicolon port is equals to the port number of mysql let's open php my admin database mysql 3306 notice here at the top 3306 is a port number let's add that number 3306 semicolon initial catalog is equals to the initial catalog we have to add our database name the database name is a sample db let's add that one sample db semicolon user id the root which is a default username root and password is equals to if you don't have the password just leave it like that suppose or if you, or if you have any password please enter that one after that the last parameter is SSL mode is equals to none that's it we have added the mysql php my admin database connection string in the web.config file and let's switch over to the code behind string main con is equals to configuration uh, sorry here we need to add using system dot configuration after adding the system.configuration, now I can able to access the configuration classes configuration manager.connection strings 
between double quotes I'm adding my connection string name which is my connection copy this one and paste here dot connection string my SQL connection SQL con is equals to new my SQL connection I have created an object for the my SQL connection class let's add this main con variable here string SQL query now between these double quotes I'm adding the insert query insert into the table name which is a fruits the column name is fruit name copy this one this here values at fruit name my SQL command SQL com is equals to new my SQL command I'm adding two parameters one is the SQL query and the second parameter is the connection string object which is the SQL con SQL con let's open the connection string SQL con dot open method SQL com dot parameters dot add with value and add with value method takes two parameters one is a parameter name the parameter name is nothing but a at fruit name between double quotes because it's a string comma and the second one is the object value the object value we're getting the value from the drop down list control so here I'm adding the drop down list one dot selected item dot text integer i is equals to sql com dot execute non query method if i is not equals to zero and here the if condition if i is not equals to zero means i have selected a drop down list item that item I want to save in my database table as well as the selected item I want to display on the label control let's add the label control source page toolbox label control I'm deleting the text label property from the label control switch back again to the coding part now I'm adding label one dot text is equals to selected fruit plus plus save successfully now now between this plus plus I'm adding this drop down list one dot selector item dot text in the else part label one dot text if the selected item is not saved I want to display the message the fruit name is not saved selected fruit is not saved sql con dot close method that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the results on the browser google chrome and here we got the final output notice here the fruit names apple banana pineapple is binded into this drop down list control now i'm selecting the pineapple 
and here we got a message selected fruit pineapple saved successfully let's check in the database also I'm browsing the fruits table again browse and see here we got the results the fruit ID 1 and fruit name is pineapple that's it